Hello everyone, this is KJ and welcome back to No Man's Sky <laughs> the Omega Expedition. Uh, the, uh, oh yeah, that was good. The, uh, oops, wrong button. Uh, Project 3, Phase 3, uh, optional milestone just completed. And uh, while I was just standing there. <laughs> and uh, now we are going on to the fourth rendezvous. I have done what I can to empty out uh, my suit. And of course, we just get got those three more slots. Oh, that can definitely stay here. Um, I'm sure I'm carrying stuff I don't need. I didn't realize that I was actually out of ion batteries, but I, I had the cobalt in my refiner, my personal refiner. We need a teleporter. I don't suppose I know how to make one of those. Oh, I do. All right, let's let's do that. And what was the rest of that? Uh, oh yeah, two carbon nanotubes. We'll just put it here. Good lord. <laughs> Boom. I don't know if that's enough power, but let's carry on. <laughs> Space stations. Rendezvous one, two, and three. Having kind of a weird day here. It's actually taken me a good part of the morning. I haven't had lunch yet. It's taken me a good part of the day just to record like three episodes. It's, it's been it's been weird. Interruptions. Irritations. Just kidding. <laughs> Reach the fourth rendezvous. Here we go. We, uh, we received a couple of uh, warp hypercores, uh, so I put away all of the uh, little warp cells that we had. Here we go. I don't know if we have anything we necessarily need to do, because we'll have to go on and look at phase five to see uh, if there was anything that we needed to do at home or in this system, other than scan a couple of things. But I am going to land in the space station first uh, to get that on the teleport module in case I do need to jump back and forth. Super helpful to do that sometimes. Restore point saved. That's all you need to do. And that, that should put that on the teleport module for us. Alright, where is rendezvous? It's over there. Here we go. Oh, it's a paradise planet. Nice. Very cool. I don't know why my ship is beeping at me. Let's go doo -doo -doo -doo. It's done that a couple of times. <laughs> Maybe it's trying to tell me something important and I'm ignoring it. Oh dear. <laughs> Looks like it might have a yellow sky, but it's got purple grass. And somebody's blue safe beacon. <laughs> So that's not even the rendezvous I was uh, going to. <sighs> nope. That's that's just kind of silly. Let's go back into space a little bit here. It probably takes just as much time to go up into space and turn around and come back down. Oh boy, this guy is super yellow. <laughs> Alright. 
what have we got here minus communication balls and everything else we have another portal all right minus all the communication ball traffic actually the grass is kind of pinkish and bubbly and there's bubbles it's the largest planet we've been on there we go Rendezvous 4. Nice. More warp cells. <laughs> That's good. And uh, 300 Quicksilver. We've picked up quite a bit of Quicksilver from this. 6300. That is really nice. All right, now I think we need to scan a couple of things to be a part of the project here. There's a couple of birds. There we go. That's nice. Bubble planets are nice. Peaceful. There's a knowledge stone up there. Uh, right in front of us, I think. Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> Here. Oh, two of them. Very good. Oh, I haven't learned any Corvax either. I thought that I had Corvax and Gek already and only needed Viking, but that's cool. Very nice. And there's some more rusted metal. See what we get from this. Have we picked up any shields? I don't think so. Nope. Lee was uh, reminding me that, uh, and I completely forgot, that uh, there's our 16th word finally, that uh, if you're in a fight like we were in uh, uh, the, with the Sentinels, you can uh, get in your ship and jump into space and uh, you can outrun them. They'll uh, stop looking for you pretty quickly uh, but uh, I did for a second get in the ship but I didn't move and and that was the problem all right let's take a look around this place let's go ahead and get our uh, reward for the uh, phase uh, Atlas flight pack customization and 1200 more Quicksilver my goodness that's awesome. And then we have already got a phase, a couple of phase rewards in five. Uh, Astro Linguistics. There we go. A couple of Convergence Cubes, some Gecknip and Viking Dockers. You can make that cookie with Gecknip, I understand. And that makes something interesting. But here's all this stuff that we just collected here. Now we need to go to a blue star and visit an exotic creature. And uh, I don't know if that's going to be in the nearest blue star system. We need to find an anomalous planet. And uh, one thing that we can do is just look in the discoveries. And uh, let's see what's in this system. Uh, we have two frost planets. The planet we're on is a paradise planet. A hot planet. A uh, desert planet. And a uh, another lush planet and then in this rendezvous system we didn't have any uh, of those uh, what do you call it uh, anomalous planets and our home system was not an anomalous planet no nope. all right let's go uh, look for a blue star There we go. By using pyrite and uranium, we don't waste fuel because it only uses as much as it needs, rather than using an entire fuel cell. Ouch. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Let's find a blue star nearby. My colors seem to be a little bit odd. Uh, that is uninhabited. 
There's no filter there. Is that even blue? I can't even tell. Yeah, it is. I think so. All right, let's go there. We'll visit a blue star system and see if we bounce off of an anomalous planet. There's probably one in the last system, but we'll uh, we'll look here first. Since we need to go. There we go. Expedition progress travel. That's interesting. That is a desert. Ah, uh, that's a murky planet. Might have to use the uh, first person to see that one. Oh, no, I saw paraffinium or something. I don't know what it was. It's also a dangerous system, apparently. <laughs> well, all right, very cool. Desert, desert, gamma, hot spine. There we go. We'll go there to Norman. Norman sounds like a good place to go. Norm! <laughs> Get a suit slot. I don't think we need any of those, but we'll grab that one. Take a look at the multi-tool. I don't think the system was very good. It's another submachine gun, though. Yeah, C-class. Right. Let's go visit Norm. That's Ors. There's Alba. That's a hot planet. Or yeah, Alba. I'm getting hit by more of them than I'm hitting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's Dixie. That's not Norm. Oh, jeez. <laughs> There's a lot of rocks out there. <laughs> Let's make sure that's Norm before we go any further. That's Anma. Mono, Dixie, uh, that must be that little tiny one that's hiding on the other side over there. The last little tiny planet in the system. <clears throat> still can't see it. It's so tiny I still cannot see it. <laughs> there we go. Norm! Discovered by Maledicta. Alright. An anomalous exotic Norman. Wow. Oh, you can see the striped planet and just above it too. The uh, striped planet. Sorry. The ringed planet. <laughs> striped came out of a faux pas from a live stream. Oh. 
There's a hole in the ground. We're looking for a little stick creature that kind of looks like this ferrite right here. I hear him. I can just, just hear something that sounds like him. Or her. Or it. It's an anomalous creature. Look at how these things move. So cool. Oh, he's over there. I heard you moving. <laughs> Alright, we'll use a scanner. <laughs> He's over this hill right here. <laughs> he was over the hill. Oh, now he's over that hill. There he goes. Trying to escape. <laughs> Xenophile! Discovered bizarre life forms. This is a pretty cool planet, though. I really like the orange colors. It's really neat. I don't like the red, though. It's getting red. Alright, let's see what we get for that one. Uh, oh, yeah. Go to a blue star. Polo figurine plans and supreme hyperdrive upgrade. That will be helpful. And so is the polo figurine. And uh, I don't think we have room for all of that. We only have one slot available. Let's see here. Uh, let's take the teleport receiver away. And uh, put the polo figurine in. <laughs> nope, nope. It's somewhere else. It's no. <laughs> I'm standing right there. There we go. It's in here, right? There we go. <laughs> now we could do, uh, oh, a whole 689 light years. And then we also have uh, the Xenophile. Wow. Assorted glitches. <laughs> we must have got a bunch of them. Light fissures, bubble clusters. God, where are they all going to go? Rattle spines. <laughs> Rattle spines you can get from this kind of a planet. All right. Boy, we didn't need all that stuff. <laughs> all right. Next up, view the final memory. For that, uh, we use the echo locator. No, I don't think so. We need to make this uh, memory of the void. There we go. Let's put the echo locator somewhere else because the game seems to be uh, interested in using it now. I don't want to. That was a crazy cool planet. Alright. Here we are. Now we can go in here and uh, reveal the memory and pulse. There it is. Ooh. Ooh. He's scary. <laughs> uh, memory status breached. All that lives drinks the same water. The memory seizes me immediately. The eye is a maw, and I cannot look away. I know deep inside that if I close my eyes, I will not reopen them. Its vision searches inside me. It's angry, writhing. It is afraid. I meet its gaze. An eternity passes. I feel it blink. I am free. Creation. <laughs> That's a pretty good shot. Well, that's an even better one. There we go. I got the eye looking right at me. <laughs> Alright, 512 Hexite. No idea what we're going to need that for, if ever. Uh, next up is Return to the Atlas. Access the galaxy map. There it 
is up there. It's right next to a black hole system. Here we go. Interface discovered. Thanks, soup lady. She likes to tell us about five minutes after we've been pelted by lightning in the middle of a battle that there's a lightning storm going on. <laughs> Ooh. Sound of the sound of this place. Traveler. Did I not do this in the first one? I think I did. This place is terrifying when you first come here. And uh, the first time I came to an atlas, I was I was really like worried that something terrible was going to happen. <laughs> I was afraid I was going to get killed. This Atlas is very angry. I don't know if we're going to get any more words. It's only our second Atlas. But it's worth a try. And uh, with the new Omega update now, we can get uh, words uh, uh, just by visiting atlases and sharing our discoveries with it. We'll take the free warp cells. Alright, here we go. I stand before the atlas once again. I've traveled thousands of light years. I've seen all it has asked me to see. Every memory. But whose memories were they? Leto's? Mine? Did they belong to the atlas itself? What did they mean? What story was I being told? The atlas is silence in the, silent in the face of my demand. I do not know what I expected. This interface, this machine, this crimson dream, whatever it is. Is it even capable of answering? What revelation did I expect? It does not owe me a story, a neat revelation. The only answer lies in the stars. I have no option to, but to keep exploring, keep reaching onwards. help but think that that was Hello Games way of saying we don't owe you an answer just keep going 
Alrighty. Living slime. Um, that'll just get added to the pile. <laughs> The Minotaur AI pilot. I thought we had that. Maybe we had it to build, but now we have the actual package for it right there. And a uh, crystallized heart. That's nice. I don't know exactly where we picked that up at. All right, let's go. Let's get this uh, final suit slot. It's a nice looking machine gun. So it's only C-Class, though. Got a little missing hole right there. <laughs> Alright, off on our way. It's a rather interesting and slightly emotional end to the atlas there. planets look really close to each other. <laughs> I don't think they look quite close enough, but there are planets that collide, and you can find those in the game. Just explore. We found a couple of them in live streams, but uh, yeah, these planets aren't even close enough to affect each other. But planets that aren't even touching each other, if they're close enough, they affect each other's gravity, which is really trippy. They lost the blue planet with activated indium. It's an interesting little setup right there. <laughs> I think we'll get out and walk. Here we go. It's an exotic planet. Let's enjoy it. It's not very far. Boat Prime. least hospitable planet we've been on. Might pick up some of these plants here on the way too. Hexite. Is that what it's called? What is it called? I've forgotten. Hexaberry. really mountainous. That's the only problem with it. Oh, is that a rolling thing? It is. Oops. <laughs> Weirdo. Just making sure I'm going, still going the right way. <laughs> The scanner can kind of lead you in circles sometimes. <laughs> Boy, there's, there's all kinds of dangerous plants around here. 
It's also something else. Oh, Gravitino Ball. Up over the hill we go. If I can get up the hill. Ugh. It's an interesting color for sodium. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> There, where all the calm balls are. There it is. It's the final portal. We're going to get that great music again. Finally, title Starborn, Omega Decal Plans, Omega Banner, 12 under Quicksilver. Coffee is still greater than tea. <laughs> Research projects aren't done for uh, those last two. Yeah, we got that one. So the last two are not done. But let's uh, go on to the final phase. Here we go. There is our Starborn Runner. Very nice. Flame ship. Let's definitely go into first person for this. Uh, oops. Click, click first person. There we go. I don't think we can do the first person in ship thing without uh, being in a ship. Somebody's offended by the atlas. <laughs> All right. There it is. It's very strange looking in this environment. Well, we have a, a, a polo thing. If you hit alt, you can move around inside your cockpit. That's very cool. Here we go. Oh boy. It feels a little bit slow. Let's see if it actually is slow. I don't know if it's slow or not. Whoa! <laughs> Red goat and red means fast, right? <laughs> we'll take a look at it in the space station. 
when we uh, come back with uh, right from the start, uh, we'll get ourselves to the point where we can move forward, and then we'll do the expedition on uh, right from the start. So we'll have a couple of episodes of right from the start, uh, and then we will do the expedition again, but from an established save. Very cool. Oh man, we got a lot of nice ships. We got this, and uh, we got that Sentinel ship, which is also awesome. We ought to take this to our freighter and uh, see the other ones, but uh, yeah, that is super cool. That is really cool. What do the engines look like from the ground? Very cool. <laughs> I'm super, super into this. This has been, this has been probably the best expedition that we've had. Look at this uh, beautiful multi-tool staff that we have with that super powerful weapon on it. And uh, this great ship and that Sentinel ship. And uh, there we go. We got the patch. We've got the uh, t-shirt expedition complete. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm like really, really happy with this. Uh, you landed in my face, dude. <laughs> All right, you guys, I want to thank you all so very much for coming along. I do hope that you have a lovely evening. We'll see you next time on Right From The Start and Voyage to Echoes. I also hope to see you in the live stream. And uh, yeah, have a great day. Bye-bye for now.